making what? Elephant eels. Oh yes, we are going to show you how we make them homemade. Okay, first off, we're going to turn our burner on medium. We're, we have to melt a few things. This is going to take a little bit of time. So, we've got one and a half cups of milk. Yeah, and we'll put that in there. And then, we're going to put in a teaspoon of sugar. No, salt. Shot. A teaspoon, salt. A teaspoon of salt. Hang on. No, no. Okay, put that in there. And then we're going to do two teaspoons of, of or two, excuse sugar. me, two tablespoons of sugar. Of sugar, yep. Yeah. Put that in there. One more. You got to shake it so it's nice and, yep, that's good. Okay, there's our that. And then we're going to put in six tablespoons of butter. My right, hands are clean, so grab that butter and put it right in the pan. Okay, then we're going to stir this all around. We're just going to stir it real slow until it melts. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't want it to boil, we just want it to melt. Mm -hmm. And all mixed together. And then we have to let it cool. So that's why this will be done in stages. <coughs> now, elephant ears are what? Yummy. So good. Yeah, you can put all kinds of toppings on them, but we're going to do ours with cinnamon and sugar, right? Yep. You can even do a little powdered sugar. Just mix that slowly. Folks, just let this mix or let this uh, melt slowly because you don't want it to boil. So, I tell you what, that's going to take a little bit for all that to melt and mix together. So, we'll get that done and then we'll be back when it's all melted and show them the next step. Tom will be back. We will be back. Okay, friends, we're back. And now that it's all melted, what are we going to do? Set it aside to cool. To? To room temperature. Yep. And then we're going to put yeast in it. So we're going to set this aside. And as this is cooling, we're going to get our other ingredients all ready. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be back and show them that. Right? Mm -hmm. Tell them, hang on, we'll be back. Hang on, we will be back. Okay, friends, we're back. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And we're going to put, now that this is cooled to room temperature, we're we are gonna going to put two tablespoons of yeast. Yep. And we're just going to sprinkle that in there. And then, there's the second one. And we're just going to twirl just a little bit. And we are going to set for about 10 to 15 minutes and watch it come to life uh -huh. okay so when that's done now we got our all our other stuff ready so all we got to do is wait wait about 10 15 minutes for that to get frothy and come to life and then we'll be back this is kind of tedious but it, it you got to do it in steps so we'll be back it smells like powder it smells like powder it smells good that's what makes the bread rise Okay. okay, friends, we are back, and we want to show you. Remember I told you this yeast would come to life? Oh, we got to turn that. I told you the yeast would come to life. Look at that, how fluffy that is. And you know why it does that? It gobbles up the sugar. Mm -hmm. And when those little critters in there gobble up that sugar, they burp. <laughs> and it releases carbon dioxide mm -hmm. and it makes everything rise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to dump that in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to dump it in this. We're going to dump it in there. So let me see this. We're mm. going to dump it right in there. Look, Look at, at that. that beautiful stuff. Yep, we don't want none of these little guys uh, wasted. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Set that in a sink. And then we gotta, we're going to whisk them up there. Yep. You want to stand up and put this in there? Mm -hmm. But do it kind of slowly. You can stand up here. There you go. Do it kind of slowly. Tell them that's four cups of flour. Put it way down in there. This that's is four cups of all-purpose flour. flour. Yep, regular all-purpose flour. Okay, we got that. And now I'm going to stop. You're going to stir? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
me. Yeah, you got it. Keep your spoon down in there. Okay? Look at that. And mix it just like so. Okay? You can do it. No, you're going to need it. Mix it up real nice. Mm-hmm. And look at it. It looks good. Mm-hmm. It looks like dough now. Oh, yeah, it will. <laughs> you said dough now. Yeah, it will. Okay. Now, I'm going to get a glove. For okay? me. Let me get a glove. Yeah, for me. For you, too? <laughs> Here's one for you. We don't want our hands to get dirty. Oh, we can, our hands can get dirty. We don't want them to get all icky and doughy. Let me get you I one. I want another one. Okay. <laughs> There's another one for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Hang on. Take that off there. Put this in the sink. <laughs> you want to get in there. Don't, no, let me get in there. Let me get in there. You'll, you, you'll need it when it gets on the... When I get it on the table. Okay? Okay. You remember how to knead. I taught you how. Okay, see that? That's beautiful. Okay. Now. My turn. It will give it enough flour in there. Okay. Now remember how I taught you how to knead? Nope, not I like don't that. Get it. I like that. You remember like this. Mm -hmm. Turn it and knead it. There you go. You turn it this way and you knead it a little bit till it forms a nice ball. You don't got to knead it a whole lot just till it forms a nice little ball. Feel how lively it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Make it into a ball. Okay, that's good. Now, we're just going to cover that. we got to go get a little towel out of well, the pantry can, drawer. Um, use one of those things. No, we'll just use a little towel out of the pantry drawer. Don't push it down. Because no, now, it. tell our friends we got to let it rise for about 30 minutes. We're going to have to let it rise for 30 minutes. And then, yep, until it doubles in size. 30 minutes or until it doubles in size. So, if you go get us a little towel out of the drawer in there, we'll be able to cover it up and let it set, okay? Yep. Go grab a towel. It's good. Perfect. She does a wonderful job. She's learning. Yep, just lay it right over it. That's it. And tell our friends in 30 minutes we'll be back. And then we in 30 to... minutes we will be back. Yep, and then we get to make the elephant ears. And then we can make the elephant ears. Mm -hmm. Friends, we are back. And what do you say? Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Our dough is all risen up. Now, we are going to take and so, literally cut this right in half. Into fours. Yep, into fours. Cause these are and it's going to be big like an elephant eel. Yep, it sure is. Okay, we're going to set those aside. Oh, I got to... There. I'm going to set those aside. We're going to put a little flour down here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because these are going to get pretty floury. Mm -hmm. We're going to just kind of... Make it into a circle. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to roll it down. Yep, we're going to roll it. We're going to move this. Okay, let's stick into it. We're going to roll it out big and thin. Mm -hmm. Each one of these. Just like an elephant eel. Yep, big and thin. Flip it over. How would you like that flower on you? Look at that elephant eel. Look at that. I think that sucker is good enough. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to put these... Into on our tray over here, and then we'll do the next one. We'll do one more with them, and I'm going to show you. You're going to do this one. You're going to show them you know how to do this because you're not a teaches you, right? 
<laughs> okay. Hang on now. Put a little bit on there. Okay, now stand up there and you roll outward. Nope, not like all roll out, lift up, roll back, turn it, roll out, roll back, turn it a little more. Okay, we're all oh, beautifully got pushed down really hard so it works. Okay, one more. Really hard. Roll out. Roll back. Okay. Hang on. Roll out. Beautiful. Look at you go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now back. Let me turn it. Roll out and back. Oh, you're so good at this. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You could do this without Nana. You think so? You th I think so, too. Okay, one more. That one's kind of... There we go. That one's good. And we now got this we're going to do another one. Okay, we're going to get the others done, and then we'll be back and show them how we fry them. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. As we are back, and all we do is these are real thin. We just put them in there. See what this one? Yep. They'll get nice size. Mm -hmm. See how that is? Now we'll check the other side. Just give it a nice little flip. These are wonderful. We had to do a test run, so we tried one already, and she's back there eating it. Huh. That's good, isn't it? I'm crispy. Mmm. This is a really nice recipe for these. I just keep flipping them. Okay, look at here. What do you think of this? Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> These are good. Are you going to taste one and let them know what you think? Mm-hmm. Okay, take a piece off any one. I'm going to take a piece off this one. I'm going to take We've got like piece. eight or nine of them in here that we made. We have nine. Those are good. Those are really good. All right, friends, what a fun thing to make with grandchildren. You'll love them. They, they're just a little tedious, you know, it just go, they go in steps, but once you start frying them, they go like crazy, and they're wonderful. So, all right, thanks for watching. What thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.